it's been a while since we've done a video. I think the last time I did a video was for uh, our Kia, the car that we had. Uh, Kia, that was a good little car. Got great gas mileage. But we're back in the truck. A lot of you subscribe to the channel because of my truck videos. Um, we're traveling uh, right now in a 2020 F-350. It's a crew cab with a long bed. And this is the 7.3 gas engine. Uh, this has got an FX4 package, um, and it's got 373 gears, and of course it has the 10-speed automatic transmission. We did a video uh, a while ago um, showing our 2019 with a 6.2 gas towing. So the road is twisty up and down, not a lot of straight, even though I'm on straight right now, that's why I'm kind of filming this. But I wanted you uh, to see what you could expect towing an 8,000 pound travel trailer. I've got a 30 foot travel trailer and uh, right before we took off we weighed it and it was actually 7,900 pounds to be exact. And I've just got it in cruise control and this thing jumps between 6, 5 and 4. If you get on a lot of hills, you know steep hills I should say, you may see 3. Um, but uh, 60 three miles an hour is what I have the cruise set at. It did a great job with the travel trailer that we had. We wanted the bigger engine, the bigger gas tank that this crew cab offers. So that's why we got the 2020 F350. And then we got the 7.3 with the 10 speed. We towed our travel trailer over 20 some thousand miles last year. We did 33 states. And I flew all over the country pulling that thing. I mean, I, I drove the way I wanted to drive. And it was an incredible towing machine for the last 20-some thousand miles that we, we towed. So, moving forward, we've graduated up to now a 2022 fifth wheel. Uh, this is a 36 six foot, so 36 feet just over five, you know, half, so 36 feet, six inches. Uh, the trailer is 13 foot tall, about 13 two. And empty, it weighs just under, barely under 11,000 pounds. When it's fully loaded, it weighs 12,100 pounds. Well, we have some stuff in there currently, so we're, we're running right around 11,000 pounds as we're traveling here. And I wanted to give you some initial thoughts on the whole drive, and it's, um, or the, the towing experience. And it's the same thing that you hear across YouTube, you know, unanimously. The 7.3 has plenty of horsepower. Um, I'm actually towing anywhere between 61 and 69 miles an hour. And I've been in 8th and ninth gear, mainly. Now, we're in Florida, so you can pretty much surmise that the roads are pretty flat but it's a nice casual Watch drive vehicle on shoulder ahead. I went ahead and I locked out 10th uh, gear uh, which is something you can do with the transmissions in the you know the Ford transmission you can do it even with the old six-speed transmission they have but on the super duties um, there's no sense in it going in 10th so I just go ahead and I knock it out so I'm only running one through nine and I can tell you that it's been mainly seven through nine that we've been using. There was occasion that we went over a big bridge coming out of Jacksonville, it dropped down to six. And of course, getting on on-ramp stuff like that, it's gonna run through the gears pretty well. But let me see if I can show you here. Take the camera here from Heidi. And uh, you can see right now we're in eighth. I'm speeding up a little bit to catch up to this truck. So I'm tired of people getting in front of me. And. Uh, yeah, this has been the cruising speed, the cruising pace for quite some time now. And the gas mileage, don't let that, that's, nope, that's coming down from a, a high gas mileage for the last 1,100 miles. Um, we've been averaging nine, but we've been empty a lot of time for that too. Um, I'm assuming that we're getting about what we got with the uh, travel trailer, and that's probably seven and a half miles to the gallon. Uh, just so you know, um, now I do have airbags on the truck that helps out a little bit um, although I don't have to run the airbags I'm not even on the overload spring so that's kind of nice um, I'm just barely in the overload springs 
So again, traveling down the road, nice and flat. We wanted to give you the lowdown of what it's like to tow something a little bit heavier with uh, this 7.3 gas engine and this fifth wheel is just fine. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it necessarily in the mirror. We'll go ahead and give you a little shot there. But yeah, we just picked it up at the dealer and it's, it's all good in the neighborhood. Of course, the truck has that puck system, so the mounting the fifth wheel hitch was nice and easy. But I, I'd like to share this information for you guys that might be concerned going from, like in our case, a travel trailer to a fifth wheel and what that additional weight's gonna be like. Now, I wanna say that I don't think that I would tow more than what I currently have now. Um, this is the maximum I would tow. 12,000 pounds is be the maximum that I tow. Can this truck tow more? Yes, it Watch can. Watch vehicle on shoulder it, ahead. It definitely can, but I just don't want to. Um, I like a certain feel when I'm driving, and I don't want to be hindered by something that's just overbearing on the back of the truck. And if I put this thing up to, you know, 15,000 pounds of a trailer, uh, it, it'd probably be a handful. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to do that. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that uh, answered some questions as far as can I tow something heavier with the 7.3 gas engine? Yes. And don't even get me started with the whole, yeah, wait till you're out in the mountains out west and that. You know what? Everybody told us that before when we had our travel trailer. And the slowest I went up any mountain at all out west, all the traveling we did, was 45 miles an hour. And that's because it kind of snuck up on me. I didn't realize I was going up a hill until it was a little bit too late. So by the time I kicked it down and then got it up into a gear and at an RPM that I felt comfortable with, um, 45 was about it. Um, and I didn't want to over rev it. So I, you know, I, sh I short shifted it, which you can manually do that with these trucks too. Um, so yeah, th this does fine in the hills. There's there's no difference. I mean, you got to figure it's 470 pound feet of torque. You know, what what do you think people were doing back in, you know, the mid 90s when the diesels only offered that kind of torque? Um, now you have a gas engine that offers that and all of a sudden it's not good enough. <laughs> so that's it. Again, hope this uh, gave you some kind of insight and I appreciate it. And Tune in for the next one.